Hey everyone and welcome to The Huddle. I am really excited to be talking to you today from the Minneapolis area and I'm here at, at Nordic Wear and this is one of our great manufacturers here in the United States and longtime supplier to Walmart. And this is Jenny Dahlquist and uh, Jenny has been with the company for a long time, mostly by birth, but I'll have her tell you the story. But this is truly a family business that has been in this area for a long time. So Jenny, thanks for the time, first of all. Yeah, we're thrilled to yeah, have you here Well, today. start with the story. How, who, who started this? I saw the photo down the hall and clearly we're, uh, we're in the baking category. You can see by the show around this, but uh, there were there were a lot of decorations outside, bunt pans painted, different colors hanging on the walls, fantastic, but I saw a picture of one of your family members from a long time ago. Yeah, if you like cooking and baking, you're in the right spot. So my grandfather and grandmother founded our company in 1946. My grandfather came back from World War II and he had a background in metalworking and chemistry. And my grandmother uh, had the idea to start producing products that were Scandinavian ethnic cooking products. Okay. She, her heritage was uh, Danish heritage. And a lot of the products she had grown up with, you couldn't find in this country. So they combined my grandfather's metalworking skills and my grandma's cooking know-how and came up with this small fledgling company called Nordicware. Here we are 75 years later and we're still making things right in the United States. We are, in fact, we're making them just on the other side of this wall. So we just had a chance to walk through the factory. It's fantastic and it's truly an end-to-end -end operation from metal pressing to ceramics, nonstick, uh, packaging, shipping, everything. You've got a great team and people are really proud of it. So back to uh, the business, it's been around 75 years. And how did you get your start with Walmart? We got our start with Walmart uh, back in the mid-1980s. Sam Walton put out a call for American manufacturers. And my father, who is second generation involvement in our family, uh, he responded to the inquiry and said, we make American made cookware and bakeware products and we'd love to come present them to you. And our first foray into doing business with Walmart was in 1986 and it was our signature item, which is a bunt pan. And your dad, who was gracious enough to tour us through the factory earlier, told us a story. It's a great story. And it's perfect timing for us to be talking about this because we're now kicking off Open Call, where we welcome entrepreneurs from all over the company to come present, do it virtually if needed. But you get an audience of our merchandise buyers, and it's, it's a chance for people to get started just the way your dad did, who took a chance, heard the call, wrote a letter, and and here we are today. So talk about the business with, with Walmart. How many items is it and uh, what are you most proud of? Yeah, so it's been since the 1980s. Um, it has grown substantially in the last 15 or so years. We have 33 items that are everyday products in Walmart and that spans the categories of stovetop cookware, bakeware, and microwave accessories. And it's been a fantastic relationship. Walmart has recognized us being a U.S. supplier, and I know that's a priority for Walmart, is to grow that supplier base of American manufacturers, and they've given us some awesome opportunities to grow. Yeah, it sure is. It's important for the economy and for jobs and for so many things, and also just for the supply chain. We're able to see trends and we can react quickly. We were in your design shop earlier. Mm -hmm. So we can take ideas and in a week be off to manufacturing if that's what, it, if that's what needs to be done. Um, one of the things that um, is particularly interesting though is the way you're sourcing the materials, um, not just the, the, the finished products, which everyone would see, but um, things like steel and ceramic and processes. Would you talk about how you think about the supply chain from here all the way up? Yeah, so we have always had a mindset of being very vertically integrated and if there's a process or input that we can control and do a reasonably good job and efficient job at it, why wouldn't we want to do that? Because that's just going to shorten your supply chain overall. So we really kind of instill that mindset in people across our company and it has helped us um, just move things through the process, react to when retailers need us to do something. So from our metal to our uh, packaging that goes on products to the coatings that go onto our products that help release food. Those are all sourced from American manufacturers and we try to get them from as close to our Minneapolis facility as we can. Again, shorter lead times result in quick turnaround. That's right. Now, if you're a small supplier and you're thinking about getting started, one of the ways that to start 
without all the capital, and remember this is a business that's been here for 75 years, so you've continued expanding over a number of years and decades, really. Yeah. Um, one of the ways to start is with the marketplace, and the walmart.com marketplace is another place that you can list items and sell directly, which you also do as well. Would you talk about that just a second? Yeah, we first got uh, placement on the Walmart marketplace as a third-party seller probably two to three years ago, and we just realized what an opportunity that was. There's nothing standing in the way of really any business, small or large, launching their products and putting it out in front of tens of millions of people who are on walmart.com shopping. Um, it is not that much effort to put a product in a box, fulfill it, ship it to the consumer, and have it on their doorstep within a few days. So it's a really cool tool for a small entrepreneurial company to be able to get their product into the hands of consumers. And then that often leads uh, to a larger test uh, that could happen in stores if you prove yourself on Marketplace. Sure does. And we, we, we spend a lot of time thinking about how we operate as a big company but think like a small company. And the 33 items, those are the store items, but you have another 400 and, I don't know, 60, 70 that <laughs> can make it on the Marketplace. So it's right. really a, a yes to everything and then we just curate to the stores. Well, this has been a fantastic visit, um, very inspiring. Um, last thing, just talk about Minneapolis for a second. There's been a lot going on uh, here in the last year. It was a year ago that George Floyd was, was murdered. Um, talk about what's been going on in the city and, and how have you and the company, what have you relied on to help people get through such a, an interesting and tough time? Yeah, I mean, I have to say that that really rocked uh, the entire community here, not just at Nordicware, but all of Minneapolis and St. Paul as a whole. Um, I mean, we have a lot of employees here who live in the neighborhoods where a lot of that was taking place. So there's been a lot of unrest and a lot of hurt in the last year. I don't want to say that we're immune to it or it hasn't affected us, but we have a really tight-knit community. If you talk to most employees on the floor, they will tell you this: it just there is a sense of family and community here. We have a very broadly diverse workforce, too, as you saw when you walked through today. I mean. I would say dozens of different backgrounds and ethnicities all working together. And it's just been kind of a company standard from day one that we will always be a very diverse place and we work well together. And there is just, that's the only way to do it. That's how it goes on. And so I think everyone has been really supportive to each other here within the organization. And it's been a rough year, but um, I think things are taking a step in the right direction. Well, you certainly feel a sense of community on the floor and a lot of tenure. We talked to people, I think the highest I heard was about 50 years that's worked here, um, a couple in the 40s and, yeah. and everyone knows each other and it's a real family environment, very supportive. So community yeah. goes a long way. Well, Jenny, thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for hosting us and all the best to you and your family and your company. Thank you, appreciate thanks. it.